Okay, y'all, so we're gonna decorate for Easter today. I brought down all my Easter decorations from upstairs and we're gonna start to decorate and we'll go through some of the items. I'll let you know where I purchased some of them. A lot of them are actually what I already had, but I did buy a few new things this year, so I want you to take a look at. And let's get decorating. So what I put up on the top was a Happy Easter sign, and I believe I got that at Hobby Lobby last year. And there's a ceramic bunny holding a flower. Um, I think it's really pretty. That I think I got at Home Goods last year. And then over here, this rabbit I got at Kirkland's a few years ago, and I think he looks super cute up there. I really like it against the green paint. And so I think the top of the 
china cabinet in the breakfast room looks really nice. Then we start moving on down. <laughs> and then I got these two cute rabbits. Look at them in that egg. Isn't that super cute? And I got that at um, on Amazon, actually. I found that on Amazon. And these little flower arrangements I got a couple of, a few years ago. I think they got, that was off of Amazon too. And then this, he is risen. I got that at Hobby Lobby. And uh, again, the flower arrangement from a few years ago. And of course, I still have my mom and dad's Hutchenreuter China. I think it goes perfectly because it's very spring with the pink flowers and the little yellow flowers. So I thought it was just appropriate for the season. And then down here, I got these two wooden rabbits at um, Home Goods. I found those at Home Goods, and I really liked it because of the simplicity of them and just that wooden farmhouse rustic look. I thought it was really pretty. And this little rabbit here is from Germany. I got him, I believe it was last year or the year before. And I just love the German rabbits. This is, I believe, from the Erzgebirge area and so pretty and I love it. It's a very Easter, love it. And then over here, there's Peter Rabbit with a, this is the thing I couldn't resist at Home Goods with the, it's a salt and pepper shaker, but I thought it was so cute with the watering can. And I just love how that looks on the china closet. And down here, I still have my little sign, a day without coffee is like, mm, just kidding, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and then those rabbits I got at Hobby Lobby a few years ago, probably about five years ago, I would say. And then look at these two cute little rabbits. This I got off of Amazon. I found those. And I thought they looked really nice on those little stands that I got at Hobby Lobby. And that sign says, Home, My Happy Place. And so there's another rabbit that just is, so it has some balance. It has some uh, symmetry there. And then crazy blessed. Yes, we definitely are very, we thank God every day for all our blessings. But that's the china closet. I think it looks really pretty. Okay, so we're gonna start working on my coffee bar over here and um, I have a two-tier tray and I have some fun little items, so let's start working on it. done canister here that says Easter treats. This is actually a candle. Uh, I got this, I think last year at uh, Home Goods. Then this little canister comes from Hobby Lobby. I put some jelly beans in it. And then um, those two little um, shelf sitters, those rabbits there I got at um, Hobby Lobby. And I believe this little happy Easter sign I got off of Amazon a few years ago. 
And those little rabbits in the back, I believe, were also Hobby Lobby. And of course, that Happy Easter sign and the Ray Dunn mug, Happy Easter, y'all. That was, let me move this egg so you can see the word y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna put that over there. So I think I look super cute. Okay, so we're gonna start our tour and I'm gonna start with uh, this little scene here. This is the resurrection scene. And I believe I got this off of Amazon a few years ago. A couple, I think it was last year actually. And um, yeah, I've seen something like this at Hobby Lobby too. So if you're interested in getting uh, something like this, they definitely have it there. But my faith is really important to me and um, that, this is what Easter is all about, but um, I really love it. I just have it on a table by itself, very simple, nothing else, and I just love it. We're now moving on to the kitchen. So this is on my windowsill right here. It's not a deep windowsill, so I can't really put too much, but I think this is really cute. I found this at um, Home Goods, and I thought it was really pretty. Then for my coffee bar over here, have my two-tiered tray. I just love all those items there. Super cute. With the little rabbits. Happy Easter, y'all. <laughs> and another Happy Easter sign back there. And my two little shelf sitters, which I thought were super cute, made out of wood and some rope. See, I love the simplicity. I really do. Um, I'm moving towards more, um, I guess, farmhouse style, simple, um, and I really love it. I think it's kind of, it's just sweet and nice and simple. And that's what I like. I uh, like once again, that jar with jelly beans. Don't ask how many I've eaten so far. Not good, <laughs> but um, they're so good. Anyway, um, but I love how that looks really cute. My coffee bar area. Now this is our breakfast room and not only did I do a tablescape for the breakfast room, but I also did one in the dining room. And this one I just love, super cute. Um, these plates here were from Hobby Lobby. Um, I do have another extra plate underneath it just to give it a little accent with the, uh, with the uh, charger, the plate charger, couldn't think for a second. <laughs> the plate charger, and then this is, I, I just love that rustic look, that farmhouse look. Same thing with these napkins. Look at the fringe on those napkins there. These, um, uh, napkin holders I got, gosh, many years ago. I don't even remember when, but I think they were Hobby Lobby too. Anyway, I think that looks super cute. The little mugs, I think they're the perfect size. And I just love those little rabbits on there. Those are the eggs that we made. Hopefully you watched that video on making these craft eggs. They look super cute in those egg holders. And then our centerpiece with our straw bunny. I just love these straw bunnies. Um, I just really got into it this year. I've seen them, you know, a few years now, but I never really got into them, but I really like them. Again, it's that farmhouse, simple, rustic style, and I just love it. And he's holding a little flower arrangement there. <laughs> Super cute. I love my breakfast room tablescape. Also these eggs down here that say peace, love, faith, believe, hope. Those I got in Hobby Lobby many years ago and I use them every year. Super sweet. And here's the china closet. Like I already showed you, I'm just gonna do a quick view since we already talked about the items.
Okay, so in the living room, I really didn't do too much. I have a little flower arrangement there. Um, just spring. This says Happy Easter. This is a Ray Dunn um, container. I just put some artificial flowers in there, which I think looks very spring-like and Easter-ish. <laughs> and then over here, this is the little bunny that we made last year. Um, with that looks like that uh, French country style, which I just love. And I did a video on that. If you're interested, you can scroll back on that, on how to make those little bunnies, but they're really easy and super cute. And I have that next to this little spring arrangement. Really sweet. Oh, and by the way, what is on the coffee table? It's an Easter book. It's Renaissance, an Easter story, written and illustrated by Douglas Knorr. I heard he's a really awesome author and a really nice person. <laughs> <laughs> it's a children's book for ages six to nine and I think it's super cute and I hope you guys purchase it because it's a really cute story and it's really great for kids and has a great message. Renaissance and Easter story. There's a pillow here of some rabbits. I think I got this at Kirkland's last year. Okay, and then the fireplace. So what I love about this tree here that I got at Hobby Lobby is that it's very versatile. Not only did I use it for my winter decorating, but I used it for Valentine's Day hanging hearts, and now I'm using it for Easter. And I love these sugar-coated Easter eggs. They're very vintage. I got that at Hobby Lobby. Those are really sweet, really pretty. And I just hung some other Easter eggs on there. So it's my little Easter egg tree, which I just love. Down here, I did a little arrangement. I think it looks super cute with the ID bunnies that we got last year from Home Goods. I think those look super cute. One for Yvonne, one for me, Doug. <laughs> so I think that looks super cute by the fireplace there. And then up here, again, I got some beaded garland it's that farmhouse look and this garland i just love it's very spring like i got that at hobby lobby and it was 40 percent off so um i just love it it's very flexible very bendable and it just has these little tiny flowers on there like these little buds and spring is about to happen it's blooming there's some more straw bunnies i just love those bunnies this one I got at Kirkland's, and then this one I got on Amazon. So you can see the difference between the two. The one here was cheaper than the Kirkland's one. I forgot how much it was, but I know it was less expensive, but they're very similar. So I just, I think they're both cute. It's like me and Yvonne. <laughs> and then this cross I got at Hobby Lobby, I believe last year, or was it Amazon? I can't remember. But um, I put that there with a little Easter sign. There's some Easter eggs in that tray. This Easter bunny I found at Hobby Lobby too. Super cute. I think it goes really well with the Easter sign. And then on this, I found this cross at Hobby Lobby that says he is risen. And I'm also going to have that same cross in a Easter wreath that we're gonna add to the front door. So I just love how that looks. I think it turned out really sweet. So this is the mud room by the back door. And I wanted to show you my paintings first. This one actually is just, when you look at it, you think of Easter because of the colors. It's Jesus with uh, some children around him. I made sure it was multicultural. So I wanted like different ethnicities uh, to be shown and um, because we're all God's children and I just love that painting. And then this one, of course, when he was put on the cross, I did that one that's an oil painting. And then this one is the resurrection and you can see that him, the shadow of him coming out of the tomb and the cloth. So that went really well this year for Easter. 
And then here is my tray, two-tier tray, which I think is really cute. Look at that. So those tulips I got off of uh, Amazon, the bunnies was Hobby Lobby, uh, the Easter sign, Hobby Lobby, both of them. And there's a flower arrangement that I just put together. I think I had that for Valentine's Day, but I thought it worked for Easter too. And there's still my little birdhouse there. And there's that garland again, which I just love. See how bendable it is? It's, it's really nice. I really like it, very bendable, makes it look very festive. And that rabbit I've had for years. I decided to put him there. There's a little Easter egg there. So I think it turned out really cute. So here is the wreath that I got at Kirkland's. If you scroll back a couple of videos, you'll see um, that find and I, it, like I said it was kind of expensive but I had 15% and a $5 coupon <laughs> so uh, but I think it's really pretty on the back door I don't want to put it on the other side of the door I'm afraid with the wasps always building nests although I am going to put a um, Easter uh, arrangement like it's like it's I guess it's a wreath um, and I'm going to add a cross to it maybe the cross will keep the wasps away <laughs> And then here's the dining room. The dining room, this is, I didn't complete the tablescape with glasses and silverware and all that. I just wanted to show you with the plates. These plates I got off of Amazon. I really believe it was last year or the year before. And I think they're so pretty. Very Easter with the little bunnies. This, uh, I love the neutral color of the napkin. I just got some jute twine here, just tied it with some jute twine. And a little Easter egg holder with the Easter egg. This arrangement was from Home Goods and it's a Martha Stewart. Had to have a Martha Stewart in there. <laughs> but I thought it was really pretty. Not so crazy about this color right here. This is the only one that's driving me nuts, but um, I love the rest of it. I wish they were all like flowers like this or that pink one. That is a little too much for me. But the rest of it I really loved. So I think it looks really pretty on the table. Salt and pepper shaker, of course, little rabbits, bunnies. And then I just love these, these little um, bowls, cabbages. How cute is that? And uh, yeah, so I just love how the table looks. Of course, like I said, we need our silverware and glasses and all that but i just wanted to show you right now what that looks like and then on the side table just a cute little easter with peter rabbit there hauling some eggs and some other bunnies hauling some eggs and a little pink arrangement there a flower arrangement so i think it just turned out really cute and i just love it By the way, by the way, I wanted to show you this tablecloth. I got it at Home Goods. It has this embroidery down here. I thought it was really pretty. And uh, so I got that tablecloth at Home Goods. I thought it was just very spring like. In the kitchen, I hung up these eucalyptus wreaths, and I think they're really pretty. And so I just got some jute twine. It's hanging, there's a hook on the back of the cabinet, and they're just hanging on the cabinet there. But I just think it makes it look really nice. So I almost forgot my Ray Dunn mug, Some Bunny to Love. <laughs> so I decided to put it on my little uh, table, console table in the back by the mudroom. Um, so this way it's a little bit more balanced, but yeah, I can't believe I almost forgot my Ray Dunn bunny mug. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas today. Hope you guys enjoy the Easter tour and all the decorations. Remember, if you want that homey vibe, you need to subscribe. And please give this video a like. Until next time, my friends. Happy Easter. Bye-bye.
is all creation growing. It is. Is a new creation coming. It is. Is the glory of the Lord to be the light within our midst. It is. Is it good that we remind ourselves of it is. Is anyone worthy? Is anyone whole? Is anyone able to break the seal and open the scroll? The Lion of Judah, who conquered the grave, he was David's root to ransom the slave is he worthy is he worthy of all blessing and honor and glory is he worthy of this he Does the Father truly love us? He does. Does the Spirit move among us? He does. And does Jesus our Messiah hold forever those He loves? He does. Does our God intend to dwell again? He does. Is anyone worthy? Is anyone whole? Is anyone able to break the seal and open the scroll? The Lion of Judah, who conquered the grave, he was David's root and the Lamb who died to ransom the slave from every people and tribe every nation and tongue he has made us a kingdom and priest to God to reign with the sun is he worthy is he worthy of all blessings